Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome back to our episode on the Hermit's Craft server. It's episode 156 and today's episode is going to be a little bit different from most Hermit Craft episodes. Mainly because, I mean, in, in theory, if it all goes to plan, it shouldn't involve the Hermit Craft server that much. Now that might sound like a ridiculous, <laughs> ridiculous idea, and you you would be totally right in thinking that is ridiculous because we're playing on the Hermitcraft server, and this is a Hermitcraft episode. But the idea is is that I'm going to grab this part of my base once again because, you know, a couple episodes back, or it might it, it must have been quite some time ago actually, we gathered this part of the world and we just did some experimenting on it, and it was so much fun because, I mean. This base is cool, and I love this base. Don't get me wrong, I really do love this base. But it is very flat. There's not too much verticalness going on. And I thought it would be fun to experiment with some crazy, crazy designs. And to be honest with you, they're a little bit wacky. I, I, I mean, we ended up with something that I thought was okay, but not something that I would like to build on the Hermitcraft server. We basically picked this up, moved up to about here, and then did some crazy structures there. It looked awesome, but it's not something that I really wanted to build. Recently, I've come up with some new potential plans for what we could do, and they have me very, very excited. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking to myself how cool this could be. So what I'm going to do is we're going to pop into the creative mode testing world once again. We're going to start messing around with various different ideas and plans. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we can come up with something that we might actually be able to build on the Hermitcraft server at some point. Yep, yeah, this is what we built in, in that episode of Hermitcraft. As you can see, it's pretty much how I described it. And now that I've come back to it after not looking at it for a while, yeah, it, it is wacky, it's crazy. But no, I'm not gonna be building it. Okay, yeah, let's get to work. Let's get to work on coming up with these, these new plans. So what I want to do is currently right now, I'm just laying out templates. Now these, these aren't going to be sticking around unless they look cool, of course, in which case we will keep them around. But for now, these are just templates for me to work out where the midpoint is of this area in between our coffee tables. So you can see that that would be, that would be that midpoint there. So I think from there, what I'm going to do is, in fact, that seems like quite a good point. That seems like quite a good distance there, I would have thought. Maybe a little bit further out, but you know what? No, I actually, I quite like how far out that is. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to construct a circle that's going to be maybe around about that big. And then we'll go from there. I don't I don't really know what I'm doing from there. Yeah, I'd say that that does the trick to start things off. Does it look good? <laughs> does it look good? I think maybe we'll have to wait a little bit longer to see. I don't know what's going on with me at the minute. I think maybe because I've had this base for so long, I want to make drastic changes to it. Maybe it might be one of those things that I don't actually need to. It's kind of all in my head. All right, okay, so that's the start. All of the blocks have been hollowed out from the inside. What I'm thinking is, is that maybe we should move it a little bit closer to the edge here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch it down into the water. And this is going to be clear of any water. Now, I don't know how low I want to go here. But we want it to be low enough that we can actually start building some things in there. Come on, the, the water floods in pretty much everywhere it possibly can when you don't want it to. But then as soon as you actually want the water to flood, it seems extremely reluctant. Look, I've got a big chasm here. I would have thought this would all have flown in. That's so weird. This may well be the most satisfying thing to watch in Minecraft. I could watch that all day. And that actually rounds up this thing. So now it's fully surrounded in water. We have quite a bit of depth in there. And that looks quite cool. Or Ooh, that looks so... This looks like something out of an alien film. Oh, that looks cool already. That looks cool already. I actually quite like it without having a border on it. I mean, I'm going to try a border in a second, but right now, I'm a fan of that. Oh, see, that also looks quite cool in a way. That also looks quite cool in a way.
Oh, geez. Oh, I was not expecting to have to make such a difficult decision straight off the bat. I'm almost thinking that this would actually look better if it was wrapped in something. So if we had like prismarine going around the outside of this, maybe that would make it look a little bit. Because right now, I mean, it, it looks cool, but it feels like something's missing. So if we were to chuck prismarine around here, I mean, how does that look? Worse. Yeah, definitely worse. Oh man, I am so stuck. <laughs> I'm just so stuck. <laughs> oh. Oh, I think that looks cooler. I think that looks cooler. As I say, this is such this is a totally experimental episode and we we're, we're playing in a creative mode testing world, so we can really just go weird and wild with it. And if we hate things, we hate things. It's that that's the wonder of doing episodes like this. So I think now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do the inside of this area, and I imagine something like dark prismarine lining the inside will look pretty cool. Dark prismarine is in. I'm not 100% certain on it. I think I might stick with what we had going on over here with regular prismarine around the outside. I think that looks good. But then in the center, I was thinking we would have the cyan concrete. That always looks cool. That looks about a million times better. Now that I've actually swapped out the dark prismarine for the normal prismarine, this is looking like a pretty cool area of the base. And if we just fly up, I mean, how high up do we need to go? That doesn't look too strange, does it? I think it fits in with the other parts of the base. Maybe I'm going mad, but if you imagine just four of those dotted round like that, I do actually think, now that I'm looking at it, I do think we do need a connecting pathway to take us to it. I mean, it might even be worth, it might be a giant... <laughs> you know what I'm like, I can't help but think of just massive circles, but that could be the way to go. If we could connect that up via like arcs going around like that. I don't even know how I'd begin to do that. I do feel like that would look pretty cool though. Either way, okay, so what I'm going to do now is we're going to drop down into the center and I've come up with a plan which is to make a pillar. Because as I say, this, this base is a little bit on the flat side and I feel like having some things in each of the corners like this that will just push up will really help that out. What I'd really like to do for our pillar is I'd like to have a spiral going up, like a ribbon, but I have no idea how to do that. How would I do that? Is that MC Edit? Can MC Edit do that? I feel like MC Edit can't do that. Yeah, this definitely needs something more than that. Definitely. I've looked into ribbon generators, and I mean, I've, I've found a few MC Edit schematics that kind of half do the trick but probably won't it might just be a case of me having to do it manually which isn't a big deal but i'd like to be able to experiment i mean i don't even know how to make a ribbon how would you make a ribbon how would it yeah do, would it go up like this is this what a ribbon would do would it literally spiral that fast that seems like no ooh, no that looks cool oh yeah that looks really cool so if we do that, and then maybe do this, and then maybe do a few other layers, then we'll be good. I have to say, in that previous clip, uh, a moth was about one centimeter away from flying into my mouth. It was, <laughs> it's not a good feeling. Okay, okay, that looks, that looks pretty cool. I mean, it looks so different from everything else that we have in my base. Hmm. I mean, we definitely need more than one of those. So... I guess maybe another one. We start it here, and then that will wrap around and cover that space, but does it even look good? I'm starting to really doubt myself. I had a great idea in my mind of how this would look. And 
it's not looking as cool as I was potentially expecting. Which I might add is exactly why you do these things in creative mode. Because if I'd built this in survival mode and put all of the hours into it, which it would have taken many, many hours, uh, I probably would have cried myself to sleep tonight because right now, um, yeah, I'm not so sure. Adding four ribbons has improved things. That looks pretty fancy, doesn't it? Ooh, 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 ooh. Wow, okay, that's actually, that's a pretty, that's a crazy looking thing. I've never built really ribbons ever before in Minecraft. And they are, oh, there's something nice about that. That's, that's a fun thing to do. Okay, 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 so we could be onto something a little bit more. That definitely feels better than it did beforehand. Now what I was thinking is, is that when we get up to this level here, what I'll do is I'll fill it in, I'll fill in the inside with water, but you know what, now that, now that we have the ribbon in, and you can kind of see through it, I quite like being able to see through it, but let's take a look anyway, I'll quickly run around with the water, because this will take all of about two seconds to do. And obviously we can remove the water, I am also thinking about replacing the dark prismarine with prismarine this instead just so it's a little bit less jarring but now that we have the water in how does that look also looks quite cool that does also look quite cool huh oh, I'm totally lost <laughs> this is throwing a right spanner into my head I'm gonna start building the top section. I've come up with an idea that I will freely admit is ridiculous. Okay, it is, it is straight ridiculous, but the thought of it is making me laugh at this point in time, and because we're playing in creative mode, as I mentioned about a million times in today's Hermitcraft episode, we can get away with doing things that are ridiculous, because we don't have to, we don't have to actually build this thing, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of wondering what this would look like, okay? I'm. I'm genuinely curious at this point in time because I feel like this could end up actually looking quite funny. And maybe, who knows, I'm I'm kind of doing this as a joke, kind of not. It might end up looking quite cool too. <laughs> oh, I'm still just building this just because I think it would be hilarious. It's definitely not getting constructed, that's for sure. Uh, I did have another idea, but I thought I'd see what this looked like beforehand, just just to play around. And the answer is exactly as I expected. Absolutely straight up terrible. Oh, that doesn't make much sense. <laughs> I just want to see what this looks like from down at the bottom. This is just good fun. Oh, can you imagine if we built that? <laughs> to be honest though, like the actual structure holding up the thing is really quite cool. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna finish off the hair. I have to finish off the hair. I then thought, sod it, I'll just, I'll finish off the whole head. We'll leave it up <laughs> Oh man, okay, well that's, that's enough fun. I mean, I, I, as, as hilarious as that is, I can't personally see myself building that sort of thing. I mean, I know that I joke around calling my items subscribe and leave a like and things like that, but I even I don't think I could be that big-headed and self-promotory. <laughs> like, it takes a special kind of person to build a gigantic head of themselves in their base. But it, see, part of me thinks it... I don't know, it kind of is growing on me. This is the scary thing, is that it's kind of growing on me. <laughs> it really is. Um, okay, I'm gonna stop looking at it. What I actually wanted to do is I wanted to build an like the Elder Guardian. Do you remember when when Scar and Cub Fan pranked me in my base with an Elder Guardian? I think it would be cool to build some Elder Guardians up at the top here, but I have I don't have the foggiest idea how I would do that. So I've just been playing around with MC Edit 2, which is a version of MC Edit that I've always had on my computer but never really touched because I, I mean realistically I, I never really liked it that much, but I seem to remember that it had a feature where you could multiply the scale of something. So I just got a relatively small statue, 
from Planet Minecraft of a Guardian. Um, and then I scaled it up by 1.5 times, or maybe 1.4 times, and now it exactly matches the size of our mumbo head here, which means that we could technically have gigantic guardians on top of these pillars. Look, you can see, it matches. Okay, uh, I'm gonna clear off this head, we'll get rid of this monstrosity that I've made, and then we can take a look at what that looks like, and already, I am, ah, I'm quite excited about this. Have I gone too big with this thing? Part of me feels like I've gone too big with this thing. Part of me feels like that is awesome. <laughs> Honestly, I really didn't have things like this planned. But, oh, can you imagine if we had, if we had four of those looking at one another? That would be so cool. It would take so long to build, though. Like, can you imagine doing, clearing out the water alone in that thing is going to be hellish. I'm starting to realise how big I've made this project for myself. <laughs> but I do love that. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that. I, I, you know, originally I wasn't even think I wasn't thinking the tails. And I think maybe the tail probably would go, so it would just be a block. I feel like that might look a little bit cooler. Also, I can't help but notice... I'm fairly certain the front of this thing was centred around one block. So that means that I imagine... Yeah, it looks like it's slightly off-centred. But that would be so easy to fix. That's no problem at all. Uh, yeah, I think the tail should go... But I am feeling positive about this in a weird kind of way. You know what? As with all decisions in life... Oh, by the way, we're back on the regular Hermitcraft server now. I feel like I should clarify that. As with all good decisions in life, I think it's probably an idea that I actually sleep on this one. So uh, I'm going to AFK fish overnight. I'm going to gather my thoughts and then I'll catch you guys tomorrow morning. And for the second time in a row, this was successful. We've actually managed to pull it off and we have stayed AFK overnight. And we are gradually filling up this storage system. I have to say, though, I suppose I finished quite late last night, and it is very early in the morning now, so we didn't really get that many. Look, we're only on level 75. I feel like maybe my AFK fish farm has taken a bit of a hit in efficiency for some reason. Maybe my connection to the server wasn't that good. I don't really know. Either way, let's head back into the creative testing world because I've got an idea. So I have just been fanning about in MC Edit for a little while. And fingers crossed, this has ended up looking quite cool. So this will give us the full impression of what this area will look like if we were to build the Guardian Pillars. So first off, let's take a look at it from down here. <laughs> yeah, I have to say, it does look pretty wild. <laughs> it makes the base, it makes the other parts of the base look absolutely tiny. Oh, I mean, come on, we kind of have to do that. I think I might have found out what I want to do. Do we have Elytra? Okay, so this will give us a good idea of what it will look like as we're flying in. <laughs> oh, what do you guys think? I mean, I, I personally... I do, I think that's quite cool. Wait, I'm gonna set my render distance to a little bit further away, so then we can load this area in from the town. So that we can see what it looks like from over there. So let's take a look. If we are over here, I'm assuming it's not going to unload. I mean, it looks a little bit ridiculous. Maybe... Oh, maybe we could probably put, we can put guardian eyes on all of the sides. Because look, these are exactly the same each way. Yeah, so we could have guardian eyes on every single one of the sides. Because originally I would put them facing one another. But yeah, if we have guardian eyes on all the sides, then it will look a little bit less strange from the back area of the town. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going crazy here. I don't know if this is one of those things that is a totally ridiculous and stupid idea. Um, it probably is a totally ridiculous and stupid idea, but I definitely think it's cooler than the other experimentation that we did the other day, and I do really like these pillars. Now, obviously, if I was to build them, so this one would go out in that direction, that one would go out in that direction, they'd kind of mirror one another, 
So that would be that would be something that would change between them because at the minute both sets of ribbons are going the same way and obviously these will be cleaned up a little bit. It would all be a tiny bit better, but this is just is meant to give us kind of like a rough idea of what it should end end up looking like. And yeah, I have to say I think you can call me quite impressed <laughs> by that. I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section. I'm excited to hear all of your thoughts on this one. I hope that you enjoyed this episode on the Hermitcraft server, sort of. It's been a fun, kind of creative, experimental video. Uh, if you have, please show us that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.